Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bass. And what I want to talk to you guys about today is a quick money saving trick for chatterbaits or bladed jigs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is something that, that we do that has saved us a bundle, and I think it will benefit you too. Uh, the first trick, less money saving, more about action. Hands down, my favorite trailer to put on the back of a, a bladed jig is going to be a Kitek or other paddle tail swim bait. Uh, you just get great action, great profile, they're a great bait fish imitator, bluegill imitator. Uh, but something I've noticed is that we all run them right side up because that's what we're supposed to do. But I discovered that if you take that bait and you rig it wrong side up, tail down, you get way more consistent action out of the bait. And what I mean by that is the blade is going at a certain speed and that's not really going to change, which has the skirt going at a certain speed. So when you put a slow paddle tail behind it, they really don't match. They really don't work well together. But when you flip it upside down, you've got just a little bit different resistance. It turns that tail a little bit differently and it's able to speed it up and sort of mute the action and it matches the bait better. They all start working together in a much cleaner package and it's been much more effective for me at just catching fish. It just it just works better. Now let's go to the money saving part of it. We all fish Kitex and other, other paddle tail baits. Uh, I throw a lot of the Kitex. So something I started doing is saving all my junky old Kitex, the ones that I've already destroyed all the other ways that I fish them. I throw them all down on the bottom of the boat, gather them up at the end of the day. Quick trick that's gonna save you. I cut the nose off the screwed up part. And then I actually take the tail section of that bait and I cut it off. I still leave the base of the tail, but the whole paddle is gone. And I put that on. Now on its own, it would have no action of any kind. But on the back of a bladed jig, it has amazing action that perfectly mirrors the blade. And quite frankly, I think it works better and then a full swim bait. I've been able to take baits that I would be throwing in the trash can and turn them back into fish producers that just flat out work. Whatever speed your blade is going, this little flat tail is going to match it. They work perfectly together, perfect mirror, and they just get eaten. Uh, quick video, I hope that helps you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more tips and other videos coming for you. We'll talk to you soon.